In this example, we're going to show how easy it is to create a curator rule. So the use case that we're going to use around this is that let's say that we want to create a baseline for curated users. What I mean by that is that uh, on I have a Windows sensitive system, and normally these are the guys that that normally uh, access that particular system. Uh, but let's say that I have an identity management which actually tells me these are all the people that have access, uh, you know, and that list is probably much longer, and this is a small subset of the people that actually make the, the access. But I just want to know who are the one the regular users of this. Say I don't trust the identity management or or I want to investigate when a, when somebody that is not member of this group that constantly use the system and I curated them uh, and they are a trusted user uh, is not actually uh, uh, when a new person comes here what I want to create is a rule that actually fires an offense uh, to that I can uh, really investigate that. So this is the particular server. Uh, the address is this is the IP address of the actual server, and I want to create a list. I'm going to call that curated curated users that I can actually uh, see and, and make sure that those are the the, the right users. Then I'm going to use. So the first thing that I'll do is I create a rule to that creates that curated user and we're going to do for that we're going to use a data um, structure in curator that is called reference set and then I'm going to create a second rule that is the one that fires when somebody uh, logs on into that Windows system that is not member of that curated list. By the way that list can also be useful uh, when I'm doing attestation. For example when I'm recertifying a particular user uh, if if I see that the user is not in this particular reference set, uh, then I'm not going to recertify a user because it hasn't been used in the the actual uh, the actual system. And remember that the reference set has uh, uh, a time to leave that you can use to say, well, I want this entry to remain, you know, for three months. So if if you haven't used the system, say you use it once, but you don't use it in the next three months, then that n uh, name gets actually uh, eliminated from the actual uh, list. We are going to go into the offenses in Curator because we're going to access the actual rules. So we click here on the rules and we're going to create a new event rule and the wizard is going to walk me through it so I take next it's going to be an event and let's start by giving it a name so I'm going to call this rule uh, create curated list for server X or whatever and the first thing that I want to do is actually identify the successful login and actually uh, Curator has a QID, which is a, an ID that identifies every unique event. Uh, and I saw in the logs that the actual QID for this Windows, specific Windows uh, successful login is uh, uh, 50,011. Uh, What's that? 500011. Uh, I saw that already in the logs, so <coughs> I'm going to use that. So what I'm going to look in here is for uh, actually from there are so very many things that I'm used here on the search. I put QID and it finds when event QID is one of the following. So I click plus here. So it's put here on the rule. And when I click on the QID, I can actually look for the for that particular QID. And click uh, search. And this is the one. That's exactly the one I saw in the log. So I click here on add and submit and bingo is part of my particular rule. So for, for now, this rule is going to uh, fire when, when the QID sees that I have a Windows successful login. But it's not a Windows successful login to any system. I wanted to make it a specific to that system uh, that that is the sensitive one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for uh, IP address. 
uh, I'm going to specify that for the uh, IP address. And when the destination of the IP address is the following IP, that's the rule I want. So I click plus here, and I get that. And then I click on the IP address, and I'm going to put 10. And this is the actual address I typed it before. That's what is there. I add it in here. I submit, and bingo, my rule is set. So this rule, every time any any uh, uh, actual uh, user logs in <coughs> is actually gonna uh, fire on this condition but there's something that you may consider odd here I'm just gonna talk uh, briefly about performance here I'm checking on every su window successful login of everybody on all the systems and then I check I, I take as you know the, the rule continues and filters that on the ones on this particular event from the performance standpoint that may not be very very good I, I, I'd, I'd rather check first on the uh, events on that particular sensitive server out of all the events that are happening there I want to see the Windows successful login so I so this rule is not going to fire on everybody's login how do I alter the the sequence of that well I simply click on this icon in here and that is reverse is that easy so I click next and what is it that I want to do well we said that we want to add into a reference set uh, the username of the actual user that logs in right so I click in here out of all these options I'm gonna look for user should be here username I want to add the username to what to a reference set which I don't have it created so I'm gonna actually click in here and that takes me to the admin portion of it and I'm gonna add a reference set that I'm gonna call curated list of users and the type is alphanumeric you can actually specify you know all the types but uh, I'm going to be putting here username so alphanumeric is actually good I can specify the time to live as I mentioned before uh, but I'm just I'm just going to be simple here so I create that so now that is created so if when I close in here bank I have that list selected there and then if I have this rule enabled and I click finish that rule is actually going to be every time that uh, one of the frequent users logs in ping is going to be added to the reference set I can check to make sure that all those guys are you know legitimate and they are, they are good after the system has been running for a while I got the curated list created for me so it is that easy so now I have my curated reference set created how do I make uh, a rule that actually going to fire when somebody that is not on that list logs in into the system uh, one thing that is important to notice is that because at, at the point when I have all my users curated I know who are the trusted users say I've been running this for three months or six months or whatever and I know what the frequent uh, users are I definitely want to disable this particular rule because I don't want it to keep on fire once I have my curated list actually created uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create now the second rule as easy as before so I do create a new event rule and I'm gonna call uh, this rule uh, it's an event rule as well and I'm gonna create that uh, what uh, unusual uh, users users logging in or whatever is the right uh, term that I want to do so the first condition that I want to do is uh, definitely based on the IP address I want to see you know this is related to that specific IP address so I select this one when the local IP is one of the following uh, IP addresses I click here and I type the IP address I did that that before I added here click submit and bingo now this is this event is going to actually fire on things that happen on this particular event and what is the thing that we are looking well when somebody successfully log in in here so uh, again I can use as, as before as we did before I look here for QID and this is the condition and when the QID is one of the following as we did before I click in here and the QID and, and if I don't you know I can actually you know put in here log on 
and do a search and I can see you know all the different QIDs you know but I saw the one that I really that I uh, that I want on the log so so I'm gonna look particularly for that one and that's the one that I want so I click add submit and it's here so now when somebody has a successful login into this particular system and the important condition here is I want to see when when the user is, is is not contained in the reference set so so that's the rule I want and when the event properties are containing any one of these reference sets but I, I don't want an and I want an and not all I need to do is click on it and it's and flips to the and not and any of what is the event property that we want is actually username if uh, you remember correctly uh, and that's what I have in the reference set so I add that submit bingo I have it there and <coughs> is containing any of the and I want to put the reference set and the reference set that I gave, I think, was curated. Uh, let me look here for. Yeah, and this is the one that we created and was automatically populated by the previous rule that I now disabled. And I submit that. And that's it. We on this simple step, we created a rule that now is going to fire when anyone that is not on that list lo successfully log in into that event so I can investigate you know those events an example of how easy it is to create rules in curator